What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most white boy, 7th Street. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm I'm kidding one of my subscribers told me bro when you said your intro i was expecting your white boy 7th street after that that's actually where i got my intro from was from white boy i watched him years ago shout out to white boy 7th street i hope you're doing well man you probably won't see this video but i hope you're doing well you were like a big brother to me when i was growing up watching your black ops one videos but let's try it again hello ladies and gentlemen is your host with the most avery lr32 here and destroy the ever living ban list boo boo stain off of that market subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1k ladder we are uploading video after after video today so be sure that you're not only subscribing but that you're hitting the ding dong notification bell and also if you're not able to finish watching my videos be sure to save the video to your favorites or to your watch later or both if you prefer so that whenever you go into your favorites or your watch later playlist if you started watching the video and then you couldn't finish it and you come back it will save your spot in the video so you can pick up where you left off so i want to talk about the market post balance i was going to talk about it right as soon as i found out about the balance but i wanted to let things kind of settle down a little bit so today is february 6 2023 the balance did drop earlier this afternoon i'm making this at 6 13 p.m eastern standard time so prices may fluctuate up or down you know from this point moving on this is just what i'm seeing right now right sprite elf is a dollar 99 <laughs> People are like, not even, people are not even like, can I have a dollar? Can I just have one dollar? No, people are like, I need two dollars because I bought this thing at twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, this thing was over seventeen dollars, bro. Fifty nine listings. We need ten more for it to be nice. And <laughs> two dollars, two dollars, bro. Kit Callus is a buck fifty. If you want tier element on the cheap cheap, uh, we got Kaleido Hearts at two twenty nine. You want tier elements on the cheap cheap? Be like, look, I don't even want two dollars. I want a dollar fifty for this band, Kit Callus. <laughs> Exo Sister Marthas are three forty fives. Ain't nobody playing Exo Sisters. No, ain't nobody doing that crap. Gorillas are thirteen though. That's actually pretty sexy. Rhino Hearts eight fifties because that's the only thing that stayed at fucking three. Primal Planets are twenty eight dollars. <laughs> Oh, these things continue to drop like a girl's ass at the strip club. Booster box first eds are 72s, unlimbs are 60, sprite elves are 30 and a penny. A whole 30 and a penny. Even those things that dropped, they were 40s. Lord have mercy. Oh my god. And now, <laughs> this is the funny part. You look at Darkwing Boo Boo Stain, aka Darkwing Blast. You look at the cash tier stuff. $68 for Fenrir's. Now, when I did my market watch about four or five days ago now, these things were like 55, 56 bucks. Right after I did my banlist video, I went and looked at Fenrir's. They were at 70 even. They've dropped to 68. So they're, they're kind of dropping a little bit. Unicorns though, they were at 25s. They're up to 28s. So as I keep on trying to tell you guys, you need to get your shit like five minutes ago because this stuff is going to the moon. <laughs> Oh my god, this deck is a thousand dollars and it's disgusting. Magna Mutts, surprisingly, are $14. Druid Worms have dropped a little bit. They were at 10s um, right after I saw the ban list. These have dropped to 925. World Sea Dragons have dropped or increased depending on where you look at it because when I last covered this card, it was like four, then it went up to six, and now it's five dollars even. I know I keep saying this, but really. Sea Dragon Zelantis, excuse me if I could talk today, Sea Dragon Zelantis is going to get broken somehow, some way, at some point, and it's only printing as Darkwing Boo Boo Stain. So if you don't have a copy, I'm not saying you need to go out and get a playset, but just get yourself one copy. One copy for $5 ain't going to break your bank, just to have it sitting on the side in case it does become busted, because it's only a matter of time before this becomes busted. You can't tell me that linking off an access code into this isn't good, because it is. Uh, Rue Kalos is $3. <laughs> Spellbounds are sixes. Uh, these are going up a little bit from their market price of 610. I would get your play set now, like just a habit, even though it's not good. Is one, one little interaction could break this card. And it's a, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's a quick play. I was about to say it's a normal spell. You can search with thrusting, but you can't. Bice the Lubellions are 65s. 174 for Rue Kalos Starlights. You know, if you want kind of a cheap Starlight, 
175 is not bad. I mean, look at the market price, 216. So these things are dropping hard. If you want a cheap Starlight, like, uh, go go for it, Sugar Boo Bear. Um, Lady Labyrinth, meanwhile, is over $300. I fucking hate this deck. If you saw my tier list video from earlier today, you'll know why. I just, I fucking hate this deck. Let's look at Photon Hyper Sexy. We, I tend to name sets whenever they come out, like, based on how good or how bad they are. Amazing Defenders is Amazing Dildos, Darkwing Blast is Darkwing Boo Boo Stain. We're going to make Photon Hypernova, Photon Hyper Sexy, because this set's actually pretty disgustingly good. Holy balls. So in the five minutes, I'm excuse me, ten minutes that it took me to film <laughs> my uh, tier list video, <laughs> I already had this tab open. Now I refresh it. Castira Theosis, within that ten minute time period, has gone from $78 to almost 100 and Pressured Planet, because we are pressuring the opponent's monster zones with our holes in our Ultra Ball, is $92 on pre-sales. Oh my god. Oh my lord, bruh. Theosis is almost $100. What? $120 for near mids? Bro, th no, they've been bought out. $120 for Theosis? Oh my god. Th this ain't a hundred dollars. This is a hundred and twenty pressured planets. Oh my god, ninety two all the way to a hundred dollars. Oh my god, bro. I know I sound like a kid on Christmas, but this is disgusting. Like this is not. This is toxic. Oh, rise hearts are forties. Thrusts are almost seventy seven. Rise hearts are twenty five. Cash tiers are twenty fours. Uh, big welcome labyrinth that doesn't need to be twenty dollars that, that 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 card is part of a toxic deck inscriptions are 15s so okay let, let me kind of relax my anus here so obviously these are pre-sales once the set drops on the 10th and then we move on through like the 11th and 12th and 13th people start getting their cases the ycs happens which is under the old ban list anyway these prices will drop but as it stands holy jumping banana balls, Batman. You better have, like, money burning a hole in your pants if you're willing to pay these pre-sale prices because these pre-sale prices are absolutely horrendous. You should not be paying these pre-sale prices. I pulled one race soth out of my... Uh, out of my, what do you call it, fucking sneak peek packs. So I'm, I'm making money, ladies and gentlemen, but I ain't paying no $100 for Theosis. This isn't worth $100. How many times do I have to say it's so easy to break the cash tier board? Like the deck's gonna be tier one now that tier's been hit, but it's so easy to break the board if you go second. Like all you need is a book of Eclipse and you win the ball game. Like it doesn't matter. Like uh, th this is all hype. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is all hype, so don't worry. Champion Sargasses are tens. Like all these prices just need to be cut in half. Like Gagongnol doesn't need to be seven dollars. All these prices will drop like a rock once the set's fully out. This is just people getting in uh very early. Uh, Amazing Dildo is still a dildo set. Pearly Collectors Rares are 80, 65 for I sold, 52 for the Makonko, 46, 47 for boxes, like 52 for the one for one collectors rares. Regular pearly stuff, uh, if we get past the collector's rares here, uh, pretty pearly is 11, Makanko water is 11. The only good stuff out of this set is just the Makanko stuff. Rescue Ace is garbage. Like, the fact that, uh, like, it should tell you that a, a deck like Rescue Ace is bad when they have a monster that literally says set four spell or traps to your back row and the deck is still garbage. Like, there's nothing good about it at all. Um, let's see here. Structure deck, Dark World. This dog water of a structure deck. Dollar twenty for skill drains. That's literally the most expensive card in this fucking set. Bruh. I want to look at Plunder Patrol, because they're getting the new synchro. Plunder, what is it? Plunder Patrol with two L's. Plunder Patrol. So Lee's are 521s. Eternity code. Holy shit, that's old. Nation Assault, 231 on the white beards, 212 on the mowers. Plunder Patrol is actually really cheap. If you want a cheap rogue deck. Wow, I actually didn't realize how cheap this stuff is. Even the Plunder Patrol ship uh, thing out of Photon Hypernova is less than a dollar. Wow, that's actually really good, ladies and gentlemen. If you want a cheap deck, like, yeah, you're, uh, yeah, just play, uh, play Plunder Patrol. Water Enchantress is only $16. What's going on in the Grand Creators? Um, right of Air Misers are 115 Water Enchantress is 68 Wow, those dropped. Regular Air Measers are 44s. Okay. Uh, Faithful Venture Collectors are 39s. Uh, I think that's really it. Water Enchantress Regulars are 15. Faithful Ventures are $2. 
Aaron Measers, like I said, are 44. Wow, the adventure engine is what? Maybe 300, if that? That's really not bad at all. Griffins aren't even a dollar. I think now might actually be the time to pick up your adventure stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Like, that's that's not bad at all. What's going on with Light Force Swords? We check on these every time. Light Force Swords Super Rares. Uh, let's see. We want First Eds. Near Mints are basically $5 for Unlims. We want First Edition Near Mint. That's what mine are. They've dropped. So they were 8 to 9s. They're now at 667 So if you want Max Rarity Light Force Swords for Cash Tira, because this card's fucking disgusting, yeah, you're looking at $6. They've dropped a little bit. That's not terrible, though. That's really not. Uh, triple, if I could spell today, Triple Tactics of the Talents. Uh, you're looking at 35 for Rise, 15s for the 10s, and the Mavens are 16 They're actually going up past the 10 of Ancient Battles. What's going on in Rise of the Duelists? This will be the last thing that we check. Let's see. The boxes are sold out. Jesus. Uh, crows are 450s. That's disgusting. Um, Albazes are 19s. Actually, if you want Secret Rare Albazes, that's not bad. Dogmatica stuff, the guy, the Fierce Knight's out of stock. Oh, well, probably because I've got the first edition. That's why I've got the first edition near mint on. Uh, when you cut that on, okay, yeah, boxes are 232s. Uh, Chaotic Rulers are fives. Gaia Knights are twos. Yeah, I mean, this set has held value somewhat well. Um, it's it's not really anything to write home about, sadly. Yeah, that's that's really all there is to it. So outside of really tier element and some sprite movements, the market's staying the same. That's your market, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is any of this surprising to you? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.